Good morning, everyone. How's your Thursday? This is where we are today. Check that out. Back here at the Woodmere Docks. We braved a little bit of rain. And now the sun is breaking through the clouds. Who's coming on? Yeah, it's dawn. Good morning. Let's see. Long time no see, Dawn. All right, all right. Who else is coming on? All right, let's get going with this message today. We gotta get a move on here. We gotta get some stuff done. Let's get some stuff done. It's Thursday. Thursday, fun day. One more look at this while we wait. Get some people out of bed. Planes are coming through here. So, last night we had the Apex Northeast uh, monthly meetup. It's kind of become a, a monthly thing now where uh, all of our Apex crew from the New York area have been getting intentional and meeting. And uh, Benny was there and Dawn, who are on here now. Good morning. So we had a great meetup last night. Like I said, our group is getting intentional. Um, we are working to network and help each other grow our business and life and uh, I think it's really important to have a support network in your life um, I've always had a bunch of people to surround me that push me and inspire me but um, this is just becoming a little bit more intentional with it and uh, we got Dawn and Benny along with the journey Dawn came out for our first Apex event so we're gonna get her involved in this too she just doesn't know it yet there you go Dawn so uh, you fit in here so um, let's see we need a message for today so open up the Bible uh, verse thing I got this little Bible app that comes up every morning gives you a little verse of the day and it's from Thessalonians and it said uh, don't let anyone pay back evil for evil and that um, we have to inspire each other to do good and help others like along the way it's basically a paraphrased version of it and this topic keeps coming up over and over and over again uh, we need to help each other um, you know, it's something that we need to really concentrate on. We got to give more than we take in this world. Um, Brian Stuman, uh, leader of Apex, talks about it all the time. You know, you got to plan to give 10 referrals out and expect one in return. Um, we give a lot more than we get, but that's just how it works. And if we want to live our lives in the right, right way, we got to keep giving. So we got to keep helping people along the journey and uh, just keep doing the best we can every day. It's, uh, we need to be outside of our heads and outside of our minds. And if we can lift people up around us, we all get to ride this journey together in a positive way and be successful and happy. And uh, it really feels good to help someone. Um, someone's down and you can pick them up, make them smile. Uh, we talk about how simple just saying good morning to people is that, you know, someone could be having a bad day. I love every morning when I'm walking around, I mean, I'm riding around on my bike, and I found myself, I'm actually liking going to Hendrickson Park and Valley Stream because there's a lot more people there, and I get to say hello to a lot more people, and they all smile. So now, they're getting used to seeing me in the morning. As they see me coming up, they start smiling, and I say hello, and it's kind of fun because, uh, you know, everyone's a little groggy in the morning and, you know, thinking about your day, thinking about what happened yesterday, and kind of in their zone doing their walks and I ride by my bike and I jump out and say hey good morning and they get a big smile and they say good morning back and it feels good and made them smile um, you can make people smile in this world that's uh, very important you know nothing like laughter nothing like smiles it really is intoxicating it spreads oh, look at this guy over here that's just so pretty so go out of your way help people in your life Make them smile.
we all need to laugh a little bit more. We all need to enjoy this ride a little bit more. Um, life throws some crap at us, at us all the time. It's gonna happen. It's actually part of the longer Bible verses. You know, be, be prepared for the dark times. Have faith in always good and bad. And just keep going, just keep going. This too shall pass. If you're going through something, it always goes away. Um, just keep going, just keep going. All right, so uh, it's my mission for you guys today. Reach out and help someone. Um, last night we kind of made a commitment to each other in our Northeast Apex group that we are all going to, uh, we talked about around the table what we need in our lives and our businesses and basically we're going to lean on each other uh, to help our businesses grow and with leads and whatnot and be intentional. Um, be intentional in your life. Be intentional. Don't just wander through this world. Get out and be intentional. Make friends. Make it a point to talk to people. Life is all about the relationships that you create. If I look back at the relationships I've created by stopping and just talking to people, um, it's amazing. I talk all the time about my buddy, Jeff Kudrick, um, JM Lifestyles. Check out his website, jmlifestyles.com. And he does uh, fancy ornamental concrete work. And the work he does is truly art. But I've known this guy now probably almost 20, 20 something years. And he was a subcontractor that put the pool in in my dad's house out east and we just started talking one thing led to another um, he helped us with a lot of stuff at the house he helped me knock my house down um, he did a bunch of concrete work at my house he did the sprinklers at my house uh, helped not knock the hamptons house down we knocked it down he actually did the foundation in hamptons house and then through the years we've hung out tons of times uh, had lots of laughs lots of fun together and now i'm going to his wedding uh, in the Bahamas in December and so 25 years ago one simple conversation with a guy that was doing concrete work for the pool turned into a lifelong friend so it is important to talk to people in your life help people in your life and be intentional all right so that's your message go get some uh, let's get our prayers going today we got the crew back together somewhat I've been lonely the last couple of days you guys have been slacking on me and my uh, we ride at dawn crew um, I see you. I know you're Someone's not away. riding. Joni's away. Joni's away. Time. They still should be riding and tagging me. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... You're the only one who has a bike everywhere you go. I'm the only one with a bike everywhere I go. You know what they say? FYE. Forget your excuses. You can find a bike. So, anyway. We all need vacation, but... Except for me. I don't take vacations. So, Janine's going to uh, lead us in today's prayers because... She's been overdue for being put on the spot. Look at this hair today. Ooh. In the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who Lord art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy will thy be, done. be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us, us this day our daily bread. bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of my womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All right. I want to send out a special, like, thought. There's a talking to Brian there's a little bit of an uptick in this COVID and it's a little bit discouraging for people who work in healthcare. there's starting to be a, quite a few cases in the hospitals and I just really feel mostly I mean for all healthcare workers but for the nurses like it's almost like they got to go into battle again it's really really been tough on them and they are so tired and they thought you know the end was in sight and this is a little bit disheartening for them to see what's going on uh, go on uh, I know some of you may ask, and this is no, like, ad for or against vaccination, but yes, most of the people who are coming into the hospital have not been vaccinated with the COVID vaccine for whatever reason, you know, for their choice or availability or, you know, no judgment on what your choice is, but understand that exactly what the science people said was going to happen is starting to happen, that those who are not vaccinated are ending up hospitalized, and that is really scary and it's scary for the nurses and it's scary for these doctors that have to treat these people um that maybe some of this could have been prevented 
but just give everybody that's dealing with it the strength to kind of continue on this battle. It's like round two, round three, what I guess it's round three at this point. Um, and I just hope it ticks back down quickly because it's not fun for those people that are really closely involved. And of course, for those people that are suffering with COVID, but special prayer out for them today. Yeah, yeah, I definitely want to uh, mention our healthcare workers that have been battling, battling. It's uh, days like winter COVID now. It's like two years now, right? I mean, it's go, I mean, it's like eighteen months, I guess. Eighteen months say. pushing, like in COVID. So uh, but it's just been one thing after the next. You know, it was like the initial hit, and then learning how to treat it, and then the vaccines. Like you know, we forget. Like when there was a lull, like all those nurses were vaccinating the public. So, like, they have not had a lull. You know, it went from one thing to the next. When there was a tick down in cases, there was a tick up in vaccination, which is a great thing. And uh, they've just been working, like, relentlessly, completely relentlessly. And so many, uh, even on their days off, they volunteered to do vaccine clinics. And, you know, I, I wish I could just, like, walk into all the nurses of the world and take them on, like, a COVID-free cruise or something. <laughs> like, just let them be able to relax and you know put their mind at ease a little bit uh, but it's really it's, it's really tough for them you know to see these people struggling and to have to be like hands-on and worried about their own health it's not easy yeah, yeah. let's go with today's message right no one helps each other more than nurses and doctors uh, that put themselves in the line of fire with COVID to help their fellow man so just uh, some role models out there to live by the healthcare workers that literally got out of bed every day and knew they were walking into the fire and just kept going. Just kept going. Someone said like, you know, doctors, nurses, people that go, go take care of patients, it's like they'll take care of your parent at maybe the expense of theirs or they'll take care of the health of your child maybe at the expense of the health of their child because they, you know, could be exposed, could bring it home and, uh, it's a bravery like no other man yeah. and i think this was like a real a call to awakening for a lot of people definitely definitely so go out of your way thank a healthcare worker today because uh they're still dealing with this crap so don't take them for granted that is the ultimate uh given oneself for others walking into the trenches of covid not knowing what the answers were and helping people so uh Today's message, get out there and help someone make a difference in the world. That's the common theme of most of my messages, rolling this together. So when you put your head on a pillow every night, know that you left the world better in your actions in the course of the day. Don't go to bed without knowing that you made the world a better place, that you made someone smile, and that you did the best you could. So, all right, happy Thursday. Go get some. Uh, we got an entrepreneur call, all my entrepreneurs out there on Apex. We got the call with Chris this afternoon. Get on it. Let's see everybody show up for that. And uh, we'll get some stuff done today. Be intentional. God bless.